Hi guys and welcome to Beach House in Horse Cafe on the west coast of Cornwall. I do apologise if I look a bit kind of hot and sweaty. I've been on basically a walk along the coastline with my parents. So yes, it's been pretty, pretty long way. <laughs> so yeah, but look at that view. Just the first thing, look at the view. I'll just quickly go outside. It's getting a little bit chilly, but... Look at it. Look at that water, how clear it is. Like, what an incredible place. And it, the sea goes right, when this, because the sea's in at the moment, when it goes out, it goes right the way out to about where that little pier thing is. It's just so beautiful there. I will, I will put like loads of other little clips here and there up as well because it's just incredible and like that's that's like the lounge in there so you can look out and you see that the only thing is if it got stormy I would imagine it's quite quite you know <laughs> it must get a bit scary because I would imagine it would probably come all the way up over here because it does look like at some point so there's some rust there it looks like there has been water up here <laughs> so that's a bit worrying let's go head back inside because it's really quite cold and chilly let's say anything about being at the seaside it's lovely and sunny and all but as soon as you get a little bit of that door's really stiff as soon as you get a little bit of wind it's freezing but yeah so here's the main lounge there's actually two lounges there's another one through there but look at this sort of blue and white theme, it's just so kind of um, marine-y kind of style. You've got a little TV tucked underneath the stairs there. It's very, very it's strange because usually we go to like really old-fashioned places. But this place is like really modern. Like, also this was in the, my dad got this from the local shop. A hot chocolate spoon. What do that's like? What's that? What that's like? I'll have to try it later. And no, like with this sort of fancy chocolate, it'll either be really nice or that sort of really kind of bitter, kind of you know the sort of bittery roasted sort of chocolatey taste. That's not very nice. But yeah, it's. I'm gonna have to be careful with the zoom because I got the wide angle on. But it is just incredible here. And you just think at first, you just think that maybe this is just like the outside because there's some curtains there. I'll just turn these lights off, lights down a little bit because they've got dimmer switches. There we go. You just think this is just the outside in here. Oh no. Open the door. And it's a secret area. <laughs> Random bunk beds in here. It's, it's strange. It's really cold in here. Hmm, I'm not quite sure why, but this room's really chilly. And there's a football table, another TV. There's a very peculiar little toilet area in there with a shower, which the door doesn't really open very well. <laughs> a bit random. But yeah, it's just kind of chucked in there. There's no gas here, so it's all electric heating. So, yeah. They're a bit variable. That one doesn't... I was in here last night and this heater is... doesn't really seem to do much at all. It gets warm but it doesn't actually heat the room up. I'd have no idea what it's like. I've just noticed there's a load of cushions up there. Surely they should be on this... on this sofa. I'm getting so... every time I film one of these I think I'm gonna do this really Pacific. Every time I try and film a vlog I'm like I'm gonna make this really... you know... Um, really short and to the point and I always go what is all that? I mean, there's a load of like baby seats over there ask yourself what makes you come alive like always there's lots of like these sort of type I really like these but I, I don't know where you get these sort of things from I'm in need of some vitamin C 
<laughs> I just love the I love holiday houses like especially ones like this because it's all like themed like here it's all very it's like a nautical that's the word I was thinking um, it's all got a very nautical type theme it's a very modern cooker and hob there glass table which yeah, it's actually fairly clean <laughs> like you must have to clean that like every week or so like completely clean it because I don't know how you wouldn't get that covered in smudges Um, yeah there's a little coffee machine which I don't like coffee but <laughs> there's a coffee machine let's have a quick look let's head upstairs so I'm not sure how long this recording well that it's doing now will last for because one I don't have much space on my card, which seems to be like that all the time. And two, the battery's fairly low. So let's just have a look up here. I completely forgot to turn the lights on before I started. The oh, beach rolls. Oh, I love it. Soak up the sun, ride the waves, breathe the salty air, feel the breeze, build sand castles, rest, relax, ref well, rest and relax. That's like the most important things in life. And collect, I quite like collecting seashells. And bare feet required. I mean, not quite. I'm not really a massive fan of being on the beach bare feet. It's a bit nasty, but let's just have a quick look out the front window here of the main bedroom. Which is. <laughs> look at it. It is stunning. How. This has got to be one of the best holiday. Because I think all, I think all of these houses along the seafront here are all holiday homes. Like <laughs> no one's, no one lives along the front. Um, but it's just amazing. It really is. Look at the coastline. You gotta love the like Cornish and Devonish coast. Devonish, Devon. I'm not sure what that like is for the kind of. Oh, I completely forgotten. <laughs> That's another thing, whenever I record vlogs, I just forget what I'm going to say. I can't English. I literally cannot English. I don't know why, but I just, I can't English. Massive, slightly freaky, mirrored wardrobe. I don't, that would freak me out. I don't like that sort of thing. <laughs> I'm not a massive fan of mirrors. Also this, even though this building looks really modern, it's, I think it's fairly old because it, as you walk it really creaks at times. Bathroom with the... Why? What, like, what is the point of having a chair in the bathroom? Like, do they suspect that you're gonna, someone's going to lay in the bath, someone else is going to sit on the chair? What, what is the point? Like, if you know what the point of having a chair in the bathroom is, Please let me know, because I cannot see any point in it at all. And that looks really weird. Even with just my eyes, I just let's look at that chair. Looking up at that looks so weird. Because of all the, the lines on it. As always, there's lots of random chests, random drawers on that, which are... Oh, it actually has stuff in. Oh! I guess I've got like a spare key and some other stuff. Interesting. Usually these are just completely empty. Like that. <laughs> More electric heaters. Let's have a quick look up here. Some more boats. Double, another double bunk bed. Which is... These are kind of like designed for... It's very much kind of like a kiddie type place. This, I would imagine this area in the half term, which is a couple of weeks from now, I think. I think two or three weeks or so. Would be absolutely packed. Another bunk bedroom with some... Oh, do these, do these light up? No. <laughs> I just thought that was like a, a pulley for lights. Cause some of these little portraits have like little lights in them. Like the lighthouse might light up. You got your washing machine and tumble dryer. Another little um 
kind of almost en suite because this is the bedroom that I've got so it's sort of like an en suite but sort of not because you have to step outside so a quick look in here it's my stick insects well what what's left of them it's not many anymore little look at this cool little boat though let's have a look at the stick insects I did just collect some food for them so put some more in there and it's because it's fairly warm at the moment it's, you know, the food's kind of going a bit funny, dries out really quickly. That's the problem. It's a shame you can't have some sort of thing that holds water so you can keep it in water as you walk along. But, ooh, I've just noticed, completely didn't notice this before, but behind this door, there's another set of coat racks with some unidentified coats some unidentified shoes. Um, yeah, she always finds some, and there's some socks. She always finds some funny things on holiday. Like in the last holiday house, in my, in one of my drawers, there was like some underwear, which is really peculiar. It's the beach house. I might, I might actually use that as the thumbnail. I think. Like seriously, that it was right there, and it's so echoey. It's horrible. <laughs> it probably sounds like really bad on recording, let's go back to landscape. And it's quite weird holding a camera and talking while, gosh it's so echoey, while walking downstairs. Especially because there's like this bit here where it just kind of like goes whoop. <coughs> and there's just, now oh, there's some photos there. Very old photos it looks like. Oh it's through the years, so that must be far in the past. That's sounding like medium. Looks maybe, I don't know, 60s-ish maybe? And 90s. I'd say that's probably from the 90s. You can see the front bedroom which has a absolutely stunning view. The sea's out at the moment so I thought I'd record it now to make it kind of... because when I last recorded the clip downstairs the sea was all the way in, so you know you can kind of see the difference. But look at it! What an incredible! It's funny because all of that sort of rocky, rock pooly type area is just you can't see it at all as soon as the water's in because you can kind of see where the water level is there from when it goes from sort of that sort of murky colour to the clean bricks, which I'll have to put like an arrow so kind of there. Sort of. <laughs> I'll put an arrow in it and uh, while I'm editing, but look at that incredible view. It is just stunning. The funny little island there, which it kind of like if it wasn't so far away, it'd be interesting to see what was there. But I don't like boats. I don't like like I boats look nice when like if you're looking at a boat, it's nice, but. On a boat, I get so seasick that it is just horrible. I can't, I can't There's even. Two with maps. Boats. This one here is a, I think, an older map, and that's where we are, Porsche Cafe. And you got like Falmouth, the Falmouth Bay, and Truro. So yeah, we we are very southwesterly mm. in Cornwall, and there's a, I think, a slightly more modern map. Although I have noticed on these old maps. They don't say the A roads and the B roads don't seem to be marked. It's very peculiar. Yeah, and I guess there was I guess when this was made there was no motorways, which is very weird. Like <laughs> could you imagine trying to like go long distances without going down a motorway? Some more nautical themed, very cute lots of very cute boats around here. Another very nautical themed mirror. I never knew that. They actually make their own machines. It's probably my like hot point or someone, but still, that's pretty, pretty crazy. Let's quickly put the. Oh, come on, Ben. There we go. So yeah, I'll just end this vlog on on the lovely view here, which I don't because I did actually record another ending, but we'll kind of. I think we use this one anyway because it's a bit nicer. Look at that view. 
absolutely stunning. There's a seagull. Let's see if we can zoom in, zoom in on the seagull. Yes, we can. <laughs> so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I will put some more photos and maybe the odd like video clip here and there if I film some in there. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Slap that like button if you did, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs>